welcome back. Today we're in the polytunnel. You might pick up a little bit of wind noise as it flaps around in here. But uh, today I'm going to show you. We're going to pop these on. I'm going to hold it over here because... Now this is a Carolina Reaper. Uh, doing quite well. A couple of leaves... The leaves inside uh, start getting a little bit funny at the bottom, but we potted them on and um, today we're going to select six of the best. They're not all reapers, we've got Trinidad scorpions, uh, chocolate butts, all sorts. They're starting to flower and that, but we want to get them into the auto pot system. Now, <coughs> the auto pot system, you have a, a reservoir. Let me show you this reservoir we got. You have a a reservoir down there that's 47 litres of water you have a pipe comes out to there and that runs into these there's a valve system that goes in the back here uh, you put a, a copper lined pad in the bottom that's a root control disc then you put your pot in the top I think we've got 15 litre pots I think that's what they are anyway and basically it's a, a self watering system you just fill up the the reservoir if it's really hot it could be any you know i think last time we used this system we was filling it up sort of every other day because it was like really hot in our greenhouse um and they did really really well you can put all your nutrients in the reservoir and it feeds them automatically they were growing five maybe nearly six foot high the chili plants absolutely unbelievable so today we're going to select six of the best because I've only got six auto pots on this system. You can buy bigger systems, you can buy bigger reservoirs, uh, but today we've, we've only got six. So we're going to get six of the best potted on and then the other hmm, two, four, six, eight, ten. We've got eleven, so the other five will just go into bigger pots. And uh, yeah, and then we'll see how we get on. So I shall show you how we do it. I'll just video us doing one. And then I'll get the others done and then we'll come back and have a look afterwards. So what you're going to get is a valve. You'll have a pipe. Um, I've got a pipe that runs all the way along and then there's T's along it. So you've got one comes off to each one. So all you do, unscrew the, uh, the collar. Put the collar onto the pipe. And then you push the pipe on there. Like so. Make sure it's pushed all the way on. And then you bring the collar up and just tighten it up. You don't want to go too tight. Once it nips up, that's it. Now we've got the tray here, which is what the pot goes in. And if you'll notice in there, there's like a little T piece of plastic. I don't know if you can see that. That piece of the valve pushes onto that and that stops it floating up and down. So we'll just put that in there like so. Push it on. And that's it. And then you've got your valve sits in there. Your pipe comes out the side. And that's ready to go. Now, before we put a pot in it, we've got a lid that goes on the back. We've got these discs. You've got two different sorts. Now, you can get new ones of these, which I probably ought to do really for probably next year. But for this year, this is what you call the, roof, the root control disc thing. That goes in the bottom of this part of the tray. So we'll just lay that in the bottom there. And then once we know it's all working, we can put the cover on. So basically, I'm gonna stick that down on the floor there like that. And then we can trail the pipes all the way along the back edge there. And it should, because it's lower than the tank, it should, flow through but i'll show you the next steps of planting a chili plant these are the pots that sit in the tray there so you can tell we was in a hard water area at the last house because it's got well they call it calcare over here it's just hard water stains but what we're going to do it's got things in the bottom you get the other disc that's going to go in the bottom of here so we're going to put that in the bottom and then I'm going to put clay pebbles in. Then we'll put some compost in. 
and then we'll put the plant in and we'll get it all settled in and uh, we'll see how we get on. So we've got the pot here. Here's some clay pebbles. Is it focused on there? So we're just going to put them in the bottom. Bag split open, so we've got to be a bit careful. Oh shit, there weren't that many. Ah. Oh, maybe we're there. So there we've got clay pebbles in the bottom of there now. You can see that. What I'm going to do now is put some compost in. Tina's looking for the best plants over there. And, uh, and then we'll get the plants in. So I just tend to put the compost on top of the clay pebbles. There's different, different methods of doing it. A lot of people mix compost with perlite. Uh, we used this method last time and it seems to have done the trick quite well, so... So we've got that compost in there now. Um, if Tina's gonna, We've only got one butcher lock here, so I'll plant that one next. So... I'll have to put this on the floor, I think. Chocolate butt. There you go. You might need that. So this is a chocolate butt, chocolate bootla or whatever they call them. Roots are coming out the bottom, look. I'm just going to sit that in there and just fill up around the edges with compost. So there we go, we're all potted up. I'll stick the uh, label in there so we know what it is. Uh, at some point we're gonna have to put some stakes in it because it will get very large. But what we'll do now is we pop this down on the floor, um, give it a really good watering so that all the water runs all the way through the pot. And then once we've got the, the reservoir filled up and the water's coming through these pots nicely, we can then put this pot in the tray down the bottom there and then that'll do. I hear thunder. So I think we've got this job done in the nick of time. It's rumbling with thunder over there. We've had a little bit of spatters of rain. Um, we've got all six planted up. We've got all the six trays plumbed in. We're just waiting to make sure that they all get water in them. Um, Tina's watered the pots with the plants in so that water's draining through now uh, and then we can set the pots on top of the trays and then there you go Bob's your uncle Fanny's your aunt so we're getting there <laughs> we're not sure we might have to raise up the pot we'll have to just see how it goes with that because uh, obviously it's gravity fed isn't it so the higher up you can get it the better it's going to be um, but these are all lower than the reservoir um, we just might need to lift it up a little bit higher but we'll see how it goes once we know that they're all working we'll put these lids back on they just cover over the valve at the back it stops any dirt getting down in the back and blocking up the valves and hopefully we'll be on for a super duper chili harvest again this year oh yes so that's it we're all set up we'll just make sure the water's coming through as i said we'll leave that um, once the uh, 
the water level gets to a certain height in those trays the valve shuts the water off so they don't over water themselves but um, yeah we're hoping for a bumper crop this year and we've still got some that are in the pots so I'm going to put them in bigger pots another day we've got jalapenos which need to go in bigger pots at some point that they can get a bit larger before we pot them on but the the ones that we haven't put into the auto pots can go into larger pots and uh, hopefully this polytunnel will be a, a chilly heaven <laughs> so later on in the season we'll come back and I'll show you how they're progressing um, so now they're in the auto pots we can feed them um, with nutrients and whatever we we're going to feed them with this year uh, we have got some chili focus left from before but uh, we'll see we you know they're doing quite well we've just water at the moment um, they are, have started to flower hopefully we can uh, keep them going a little bit longer so I hope this video has been informative and uh, has guided you in the way of the auto pot <laughs> We would like to get all our chilies in auto pots, but we've only got six at the moment. If we do get back into it in a big way, then we will invest in more auto pots and probably a bigger reservoir. But uh, this is how it's done. We've had really good results with it, and uh, that's all I can say about it, really. We'll check back later in the season, maybe a month or two, see how they're growing. We'll check back on these in a couple of months, see how they're doing. So, I hope you like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. That all helps. It pushes our videos up, really does help you see a lot of youtubers saying this now they say at the beginning of the videos but i've done it at the beginning of videos before and people have moaned about oh i can, I can subscribe already i've not watched it yet anyway please subscribe if you haven't already and from me and the hobbit <gasps> it's bye for now